Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God is good. God is able to wake us up this morning. Just let us see another Lord's day. Be thankful for waking up this morning and, uh, and giving God thanks because there's folks that's not be able to wake up this morning. And it's going to be a day we're not going to be a Sunday week that we're not going to be able to wake up. If we really took our last breath because all of us got an expiration date. But I'm not going to keep you much long. Uh, I got a sermon that God put upon my heart that I said I was going to do last week. I was preaching a series, two parts, on jealousy. Uh, I'm going to go over the first part. Let me just kind of go over a little bit uh, and then go into my second part of my sermon. And it's coming from Proverbs chapter uh, 6, verses 34 through 35. You know, in my first part was, you know, a, a, jealous, a jealous world. Uh, that was last week, you know, I went over some things, you know, about the three points of jealousy. Uh, green eye jealousy, protective jealousy, and possessive jealousy. And also, uh, it talks about in the book of Edison that Moses' brother Aaron became jealous when God chose Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. And David's son, uh, Asylum was jealous of David's relationship at, Beth, at, at, uh, at Bathsheba and uh, indicated a rebellion against his father. Joseph's brother also became when Joseph was favored by their father and sold him into slavery in Egypt. And therefore, jealousy is and jealousy and, and therefore jealousy is a complex human emotion. Uh, that was last week out of the jealous world we live in. And the problem is, point is, a lot of us get jealous when someone else is blessed. That's why when, you, when God bless you, you don't need to talk about it. You just need to do what you do, and keep that in and keep that private, and let your actions speak louder than words. Now, I'm gonna read Proverbs chapter uh, six, verse thirty-four through thirty-five, and it reads like this: For jealousy is a husband's fury; therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. Verse thirty-five: He will accept no recompense, nor will he appear though you give many gifts. Now I'm doing a series. That was the first. I just went over, kind of went over from last week, uh, the first part of the sermon last week, of a jealous world that we live in. Uh, now my part two and my final point, and my final uh, part is going to end today. Uh, I'm gonna do a new sermon next week. Uh, and my topic on part two uh, is impact in a jealous society. Impact in a jealous society. Uh, what we what we what, uh, what the impact in a just society is that you don't understand when you have a just rebellious soul that can interrupt off on others uh, because that is a toxic soul toxic spirit when you envy and just of other folks success of uh, other folks do because you're not because you're not looking at your own inner soul. Uh, my first point is that a complex human emotion that we encounter in our daily lives, it can be triggered by various factors such as insecurity, fear, the desire to protect or detect or amount. We need to understand that when we a complex human emotions is that that is a that is a disease that a person is really dealing with because they got insecurities about themselves. So they don't want to see other folks succeed. And that's why and they, they're worried and they, they try to put themselves more on the pedestal and talk down on others. And that's why this we that's why it has an impact in a society, impact in this in, in a just society that we live in in this world. Even in the United States of America, we it, it impact in society and that starts with politics. And creed, power, everybody, you know, and, and also racism. Even our own cultures, you know what I'm saying? Especially at black culture, we are uh, uh, just of one another. Instead of trying to come, black folks are trying to come together. We need to come together uh, instead of trying to tear each other down. And then also racism. With different races, you know what I'm saying? We got to stop. And that's why that has an impact of the society and the just world that we live in. Folk is going to talk about you. You need to keep doing what you're doing, because if God's for you, He could be against you. Every every uh and everyone is not gonna like you for, for God. They didn't like Jesus, 
Jesus sat at the center table with the sinners and tax collectors. They asked him, why did you sit at the center table with the sinners? He said, he told them, it's not the healing that need to be fed, it's the sick that need to be fed. People that are just in a, in a, in a just society are sick. They don't know, realize how sick they are spiritually because they are insecure, insecurities of themselves. They are lost in the wilderness. We need to understand that. My second point is that natural human emotions of jealousy, while it is, it, it is that can lead to negative thoughts and actions, patiently causing harm to ourselves and others. It, when you don't realize, when you're jealous of others, it can rub off on others, folks, and, and it can also discourage that person because you are being discouraged. And that's like it is like it is like a virus, like COVID, flu, or anything else, any any other virus. It can rub off on you, and you can get sick because that person is sick. That's why you don't. God will show you who who a, a jealous person who is not by how they act and what they say. You got to pick up stuff on people what they say. People say little stuff to try to talk down you. No, know, they try to discredit you when when you when God when the laws give you credit. When the laws give you the credit, it doesn't matter what man does. People gonna always discredit you for what you do. You could do the right thing, but it's always wrong in their eyes because they're because they're not on that level. And like I say, you know, a, a, a non judge person don't have to run around here and boast about what they do. A non judge person will stay humble. A non judge person will not think of self. A non judge person will think of others. A non judge person will put others before them. Just like Jesus. Jesus is a judge, Jesus, to get God that he is because he didn't think of self. But at the same time, he gets the glory and the praise. And also, he's jealous because he knows there's no one bigger than him. Satan was kicked out of heaven. He was one of God's angels, Lucifer, because he wanted what God, Jesus had, God had. And that's why God kicked him out of heaven. And he, was, he, and he, had, and he has an impact in a just society now. That's why this world is so corrupt. Because man, because he, the world wants what God has. And he can't add what God has. We don't understand this impact, this society that we're in is temporary. We, we because when you know what I'm saying, we gonna be dead gone. It was long gone, and this society and the world's gonna be here. It was here before we got here. It was, and it's gonna be here when we long gone. That's why I don't get caught up in politics. I don't get caught up in materialistic things. I don't get caught up in power. I don't get caught up in fame. I don't get caught up in creed. I don't care about being better than that person. I don't care about being in the limelight because a person that's humble don't have to worry about being in the limelight. Your actions speak louder than words. You're gonna do the will of God. Not outside the will of God. You're not gonna have an impact of just an impact in a justice society. If you anything, you're gonna have impact on those that try to help and lead them to Christ. My point and my last point that I want to get across is that my last point that I want to get across is that Jesse can have a detrimental impact on our society. If left unchecked, it can lead to do destruction of behaviors such as gossip, backstabbing, tearing down of others. It can also cause to lose sight of our goals, personal values, as we become consumed with keeping up with those around us trying to do one up on them. Jealousy can also lead to a feeling of anger, hostility, which in turn leads to greater conflict in a society as a whole, there are two types of jealousy. Good jealousy of God. Bad jealousy of the flesh of man. Good jealousy of God is that God is humble. God gets all the praise. God is jealous and he knows no one comes before him. And he is humble at the same time. Bad jealousy is man's flesh. They're going to do outside the will of God. They want to try to outdo God. They want more than what God has. Ask Satan. Satan wanted everything God has. That's why he was kicked out of heaven. And that's why he has an impact on the society. It's a just, it's a, it's a, it's a impact the judge in the society the world that he live in. If, and that's why folks are lost. Because they allow Satan 
to be to, to, be, to, to, to show them the way on how to be jealous of the flesh and show them the way how to be jealous against God. That's why this world is so corrupt. And that's through politics. That's through fame. That's through money. That when folks are being, that's why when you bid, get your blessings. Don't worry about the next man. You don't worry about, don't worry, you do what you do. You keep doing the right thing. Because when you do who's God is for you, who can be against you? If God's for you, who can be against you? Don't worry about other folks. Other folks is going to do. Early folk is going to be against what you do. And the ones that are jealous of the flesh, they are, they, they're wondering why God's not opening up their doors. Their doors are always shut. They're shut for a reason. Because they, they send their souls. If they do why their doors shut, they're wondering why God's not opening up them doors. Because they're doing outside the will of God. They're trying to tear down others. They're trying to do the right thing. But I, I can relate to that. I deal with that on the job. I deal with that outside the job. People going to be jealous of you. People not going to like you. You got that's why you got to keep doing the will of God. If God for you can be against you, they didn't like Jesus. He paid, he proved that when he died on the cross. He asked, he said, Father, forgive them. They don't know why they do what they do. Just folks don't know why they do what they do. Because they're lost in the flesh. They don't care about, they don't care about the, they don't care about the, the will of God. And that's why there's an impact in a jealousy society because folks are outside the will of God. It starts with politics. It starts with fame. It starts with money. It starts with racism. Racism. And, and that's why this world is so corrupt. And that's why I say, and why, why I look on TV and look at all the news. I don't get caught bamboozling this stuff. This stuff will bamboozle you, and it will it will lead you away, astray away from God. It will te- it will damn you jealous in the flesh. And that other stuff they tell you they want to hear. That's why I don't get caught up in that stuff. Even these these pro these, these celebrities. I don't care nothing about them. I don't care nothing about the president of the United States, whoever that is. I don't care about Michael Jordan. I don't care about LeBron James. I don't care about Donald Trump, I don't care about Barack Obama. I don't care about the Washington Commanders. I don't care about the Dallas Cowboys. I don't care about Magic Johnson. I don't care about uh, uh, any of the rappers. I don't care about any of the gospel singers, I mean, uh, any of the uh, and the RB singers. People get their self caught up. And then when they get on TV and see these folks, they get upset when folks tell them that these folks are not what you think they are. Because a lot of these celebrities make all this money, but they're not happy at the same time. They got personal problems. They on suicide watch. Money don't make that cause of being jealousy. Because they're jealous of God. And that's why God is not allowing them to go through what they go through. That's what I want to say. An uh, impact in, in the jealousy society that we live in. Don't get Get yourself caught up in this stuff. Folks get caught up in these celebrities. People get mad at me when I say stuff about certain folks or celebrities. They want to get offended. And I tell them, these celebrities don't care nothing about what you do. They don't know you exist. Don't get yourself caught up in that stuff. It's all because that all that is is fame. All that is is the media bamboozling you. And that's what Satan is doing. He is bamboozling us, a lot of us in an impact and in imp- having an impact. In a jealousy society, and that's why this world is so corrupt and is separated from God because of all the stuff that go on. And there's someone here today, that, and, and I'm done. Uh, uh, for my last part of my two parts of my uh, sermons, and I preached the first part last week. And if there's someone here today, and, and, and they want to be baptized, we baptize into the Lord's church that, that was established in the Bible. If you want to first, hit, uh, you got the first. You got the, the one Lord, the one church, the one faith, the one baptism. Ephesians 4, 4, 5. The one calling. And, and the, the, the road to salvation is, first, you got to hear the gospel. And, and that's in Romans 10, 17. Believe the gospel. That's Mark 16, 16. Hebrews 11, 16. And, and then you got the repenting of sins, Acts 2, 38, 17, 20. And, and confess to Christ, Matthew 10, 12. And, learn to, and last but not least, learn to be baptized. 1 Peter 3, 2, Romans 6, 3, and 4, Acts 2, and 38. And once you hear, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized, you will learn to live faith. You will be added to the body. You will learn You will learn to be, live faithful unto death. And, uh, and that's all I want to say. And I hope everybody have a blessed Sunday.